Hello everyone. Hi, how are you doing? This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you have had a blessed day. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. I pray that this week have been a blessing to you just to enjoy your family and friends. Come on somebody. It's time for us to be thankful every day, just not on one day. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. And I have a serious, um, some serious things that I want to talk to you about that God have been putting on my spirit. If you notice, I haven't been doing um, some go lives in a couple of days because I've been on consecration and just really speaking to the Lord, listening. You know, a lot of us, we, we pray, but we don't listen. It's a two-part thing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And God was saying, he said, in this hour, tell my people to be very careful of the spirit of suicide the spirit of depression, the spirit of suppression, and the spirit of oppression. I'm going to say that again. The spirit of suicide, the spirit of depression, the spirit of oppression, and the spirit of suppression. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, which they all are closely related. And this happens because the enemy is a tormenting spirit. All of them are tormenting spirits. What are tormenting spirits? They speak to your mind. They speak in your ears. They tell you that, you know, um, your grandmother is not here this these holidays. You know, it's... They, they, they try to come around the holidays to try to suppress you and actually try to take you out. Let's just be honest. These spirits are not to play with. They're trying to still kill and destroy you in the name of Jesus. And they use they use the holiday times to do it because a lot of people may, may not may not have what they want to have. Come on, somebody. They may not have a turkey or they may not have money to get something for Christmas and all. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Or maybe that family member is gone. So this is the time where you want to pray and you want to pray earnestly for your family for your friends for your co-workers for everybody come on somebody hallelujah because these are the times where the enemy thinks to sneak in he talks to us in the thoughts come on somebody it's called mind-binding demons he tries to tell you that you know it's over oh come on somebody you're not gonna make it oh come on somebody um you know they don't want you you're not this he i mean it's very heavy too it gets very heavy even to the ones that they walk and they talk and they laugh and and they pretend that everything's okay but in the inside it's not okay come on somebody they're going through it so this is the times where God is saying pray 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 without ceasing come on somebody prayer of a righteous man at valid much these are times where you, you want to keep on your post because these are the times they try to steal kill and destroy our children our family our friends come on somebody hallelujah so we have to do what we don't want to do and that is to pray because a lot of y'all don't want to pray come on somebody a lot of y'all just want to have fun during this season you know drinking eating just having fun don't you know that's when your guard is down and that's when the enemy just slips on through come on somebody he just slips on through he said okay this is the time their guards are down I, i'm gonna attack this one or i'm gonna attack that one and that's why we as women and men of god you have to understand that i, I gotta be able i be, gotta be clear to hear because some of you christians you, you you tipsy you tipsy right now come on somebody hallelujah during the holidays you think it's okay to drink you think it's okay to do this that's what's wrong with the body of church the body of christ right now we are not actually in position. We're out of position because so many people just want to have fun. So many people don't want to be on their post. There's a reason that we have posts. This, there's a reason why we're supposed to pray. Come on, somebody, without ceasing. Fasting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so I'm just praying that this holidays that you are going to be celebrating, I do not celebrate pagan holidays. I don't believe in them. They're paganism because here's the deal. You mean to tell me you're going to go and get in debt in two months? I don't know if y'all know. In billion dollars, I mean, this is a billion dollar industry in two months. November and December is the biggest months for every retailer because you're going out there and you're getting in debt and you're doing all this stuff because you want somebody to be happy. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That is not of God. The God that we serve will not tell you to get in bondage just to make somebody else happy. But nonetheless, we live in America where people don't want to listen and they do what they do. And then afterwards, now you got to go work two or three more jobs to get to, you know, kind of get back ahead because during November and December, you didn't went off and, and you didn't went over your budget come on somebody hallelujah most people don't want to hear about that but it's the truth it's the truth these things are nothing but these days pagan holidays are nothing but to put you in bondage financially mentally you know how people that's why it calls people to rob people and kill don't you understand oh i'm gonna have me a christmas and and it, by any means necessary so that's what's happening these are the times we have to pray 
you have to pray. You have to pray for real. You know, uh, I looked at a movie last night, and I actually put it on my Facebook, and and I pray that you look at it. It's a, a very, it's a oriented, it's an orientated um, movie, meaning that children can watch it, little kids and grown ups. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's called I Am Gabriel, and oh my God, that movie just touched me, because the whole town was so say going through something, and God sent this little boy, was the angel, and. and Everybody found out that what they thought was important was not important. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What they thought that they needed, they didn't really need. But, and, and they had a, had a one young lady. She was popping pills. You know, and some of y'all, y'all doing the same thing because you're oppressed, depressed, suppressed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Which I rebuke in the name of Jesus and sever that thing to the end of that thing, to the root of that thing. It is time for the church to come out of hiding. It's too much going on. There's too much going on in the body of Christ. It is time for repentance. It is time to be real with yourself and with God. It is, you know what? Thank you, Lord. It's time for revival. It, it's been time. And, and God's spirit is on this earth, so it shouldn't be that hard. But it is because you have a lot of people, counterfeit Christians. You, you're really not a Christian, but you say you are. Because if you were, there were the results would be different. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't think the world would be in what it's in if we were doing our job all the way. Come on, somebody. But most of you are just, you like platforms. You know, you just want to be in where you fit in. And most of you are just running after money because you think that that's the blessing. Can I tell you what the true blessing is? The true blessing when you have a connection with God. The true blessing when you can lay hands on yourself. The true blessing is when you can lay hands on somebody else and they recover. Hallelujah. That's the secret of the kingdom. It's not all about money. Sorry. It's not all about prestige. It's not all about a title. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It is time for us to pray like never before. Not P-R-E-Y. Don't be praying on each other. Got too much of that as it is. So I pray that you take this for what it is. Very serious. Because there's somebody in your family. Somebody in your family right now that needs prayer from suicide. You, they may not tell you, but they, could, they told God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There's somebody that's suppressed. Just don't feel that they can make it. They tired. You, know, you ever been sick and tired of being sick and tired? But you don't tell nobody? Come on, somebody. Everybody's been there. Somebody depressed. They may not have a job during this holiday. And one thing about it, the commercials make it worse. Oh, you know, go here, go there, do this. I mean, these are real spirits that people are dealing with. They may have loved ones that they have lost during this season. Or even throughout earlier this year. So before you just go on your rampage and just... Celebrate everything. Pray. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends. Pray for people you don't know. Just pray. Pray that spirit away from people. Because God wishes that no man should perish. But believe it or not, people are perishing right here in the church. Because people are not stopping and praying. That they're not, you know, one thing about the movie that I like, everybody had prayer mats, right? That's a good idea, right? Pray. Prayers do work. And I'm not talking about these popcorn prayers that some of you do. You know, them little one minute prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus will. No, no, no. Listen. Pray. You know what I'm saying? So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I'm going to be praying as well. I, I'm, that's all I've been doing for the last, I don't know how many days, four or five. I feel like I've been gone forever. <laughs> I'm talking about just praying, praying, praying for my brothers and sisters, praying for my family, praying, just praying, praying for people I don't know, just praying. So God bless you, and I pray that you just do what God has asked you to do. Roll out, soldiers. <laughs>